I'm just going to talk about my experiences and thoughts so far, given the fact that I'm in my first year of a degree apprenticeship. At the beginning, I'm going to be honest, I was actually on the verge of quitting because think about it from my point of view. I, I moved out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know anyone around here. I'm starting uh, full time work for the first time in my life. I'm starting uni for the first time in my life. I'm doing all of these things all at once. I have to cook for myself, I have to clean for myself and like all of that stuff, you know, it really was pushing me. But eventually once I've got to Alhamdulillah, the people around me, they're really good people like my colleagues, my line managers, they really made this experience much easier for me and without them it would have been tough, I'm going to be honest, it would have been very tough. Since I have people around me to relate to, especially when they're such good people, it made my experience at least very good. Now I should let you know, I'm only three months in, I'm only three months, well I'm on my fourth month right now but I look back at my work that I started on on the first few weeks that I started and the difference from that to now subhanallah is ridiculous now I criticize my every time I look back on my work I'm like whoa that's that's how I was programming that's how alhamdulillah I've learned so much over the past few months and to put it straight quite honestly I don't think I would have been able to achieve this if I went a normal university course. I think if I were to compare my colleagues and I with equivalent individuals in a university course, we're quite a bit ahead of them in terms of our programming and general software engineering skills. I don't want people to get the wrong idea though, it definitely is not easy. In fact, it's definitely one of the hardest things I've done in my life. But that is to be expected. If you really want to do well in your career, you have to be prepared to to go through this kind of effort. You have to be able to adapt quickly, you have to be able to talk to people, you have to be able to communicate your problems. If you're lacking those skills you're gonna find it really hard. I'm actually quite thankful to my line manager because he made it very clear, he drew a very clear line that once we get home we shouldn't stress over work anymore because we should only work in the hours designated to us and we shouldn't work beyond that. Obviously when it comes to uni is a bit different because you've got assignments to do over the months or whatever but the fact that work was limited strictly to work hours lightened the load ridiculously. Even the uni side of things is going quite well although I have to say I because of covid I could only meet everyone online so there was a scheduled residential week which means my colleagues and I were supposed to go down to my university and take a few lectures there physically but unfortunately because of covid we had to cancel that and do it all online uh, but I'm sure that would have been really fun. We actually got another one coming up in January so once I get to meet the people from the other companies I'm sure things will get much more exciting. So that's pretty much the end of the video. I would like to recommend the video that I made before this which is avoid university at all costs because I talk about degree apprenticeships in that video as well as exploring other options that you could take instead of university courses. Anyway, salam alaikum.